Hey, this is Man Cave Comics. I'm doing my best pickups of Fawcett Comics for 2020. Starting with America's Greatest Comics, number four. Great cover. Captain Marvel, Bullet Man, Spy Smasher all rolling up their sleeves. Destroyers in the background headed to Tokyo. 100 pages. This is a fat book awesome and um, I'm starting off with raw comics here and I'm gonna go to slabs and it's a little more than 20 got master comics number 45 Mac Ray boy cover what's not to like Captain Marvel jr. number nine Patriot cover beautiful American flag Revolutionary War theme there. Master Comics 22. This comic is important because it's beautiful and also it happens to be the first cover appearance of Captain Marvel Jr. Bondage cover as well. Got Bullet Man fighting Captain Nazi in the background. Love it. This is an early Master Comics, number eight. Bullet Man, early Bullet Man appearance. Can't complain. Look at that Mac Ray Boy cover. Just gorgeous. I think that's 45. Where are we? 48. Sorry about that. If anybody has a seizure disorder, it might have screwed you up. My bad. <laughs> Captain Marvel Jr. Look at this Hitler cover. Just spectacular. Number 10. All right. Now for some raw comics. No particular order. I think I have it in order of title rather than importance quote-unquote. Got Bullet Man number two with Bullet Girl. Look at that. Mm -hmm. America's Greatest Comics number one. I almost have one through six. I forget which one I'm missing. And um, this is the only one I have slabbed. I've shown this one before in a different video. Master Comics 29. This is a great cover. Hitler and Hirohito both being swatted with a belt by Captain Marvel Jr. Look at the way Hitler's jumping in the air. Look on his face. Just great. Master Comics 30. This is an AOK -okay from Kavi Comic Book NYC who's doing a thousand subscriber push right now. Thank you, my brother. This is a beautiful comic. Look at that American flag. All the soldiers coming in. Mm -mm. Captain Midnight number one. First appearance of Captain Midnight in Fawcett Comics. Spy Smasher, number nine. This is Hirohito, Hitler, and Mussolini all being punched in the face simultaneously. Great yellow cover. Spy Smasher, number one. This is one of those metallic paint covers. It's hard to tell in this light, but the silver there is has a metallic sheen. Probably causes cancer too. <laughs> anyway, Spy Smasher 11, the last of the series. I got this from my boy, Stray Flexen. He's on Instagram. He has a great knowledge of 
World War II covers in general and Hitler covers. This is the highest graded copy, tied for the highest graded copy, I believe, or maybe it's the second highest graded. I think it's tied for the highest. Spy Smasher number 10, another Hitler cover. Did Spy Smasher kill Hitler? It's a low grade copy, but presents beautifully. Captain Marvel, number 14. He swats the Japs. Got Mount Fuji in the background. Look at that. Captain Marvel, 21. This is the only Captain Marvel with Hitler on the cover. You got Goebbels and Goring as well. The Honesty Ray. Marvel number two. Billy Batson taking care of things on his own here. The lining of the cape is in that metallic paint as well. Captain Marvel Adventures number three. Look at that classic lightning co bolt cover. Captain Marvel 18, beautiful painted cover. And this is the first appearance of Mary Marvel. That can get a difficult comic to come by. Wiz Comics 21. This one is a lightly restored cover, and it's the first Captain Marvel and his lieutenant. Marvels. Wiz Comics 153. This is one of the few after 1945 Wiz Comics that I was looking to get. And it is the rare death cover. It's a tough one to get. Low, I think a relatively low print run. There were only two more Wiz Comics after this. That it was discontinued. Great cover. The trade dress is different there. Wiz Comics 35, Captain Marvel and Spy Smasher. Wiz Comics 31, General MacArthur cover. glare seems to be worse on this cover. <laughs> Don't apologize for the glare, as Bubs would say. And this is a banger, as Biggie would say. Mm -mm. Lastly, Wiz Comics 25. This is the first appearance of Captain Marvel Jr. He's not on the cover, obviously. Beautiful cover, though. And thank you for stopping by, and you all stay safe and take care.